One of the two heroes who you may have heard about by now who stopped that shooter grabbed his gun, didn't even have time to get his shoes, and then he took off barefooted. Our Marianne Martinez live in Sutherland Springs with his story. Well, Kaylee, that hero lives just across the street from First Baptist Church. He grabbed his gun when he heard the gunfire and the NRA confirming tonight that he is a member and a firearms instructor. Stephen Williford does not want the attention, but what he did Sunday when the shooting started at First Baptist Church saved lives without a doubt. Stephen uh, went into his safe, grabbed his, uh, grabbed his AR, uh, which is AR-15, the same style weapon that the shooter was using, grabbed a handful of ammo and a magazine and was running barefooted. Toward the shooting. The 55 year old NRA member ran across the street towards First Baptist Church where he saw Devin Patrick Kelly. That the man had front and back body armor and that the vulnerable spot was going to be in the side. And so that's where he shot him the first time. The hero's cousin says Kelly dropped the gun after the first shot and started to run towards an SUV to get away. As he was doing that, Stephen shot him again in the neck. Williford fired a third time as Kelly fired back. Then Williford asked a second Good Samaritan, who just happened to be driving by, to give him a ride so they could follow Kelly, a chase that lasted 10 to 12 minutes. I had to make sure he was caught. And at one point, the gentleman riding with me said, You may have to use your truck to get him off the road. And there was no hesitation. It, it was do, you know, do everything necessary to make sure that this guy stopped. And of course, we will never know what might have happened in this town if it hadn't been for those two men. Now, authorities say two of Williford's bullets actually struck Kelly, and there was a third bullet they believe was a self inflicted wound and the one that ended Kelly's life. Reporting live, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News. All right, Marianne, thank you for that.